Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm going to go ahead and dive in and see what you need to know at this time. See what spirit wants you to know, any messages, okay? So this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node in Taurus. So if your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node is in Taurus, please feel free to take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so let's see what's going on with you. What does spirit want you to know today? I channel any messages from my Taurus collective. All oh, my cool, high vibe and Taurus. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. What messages do you have for Taurus spirit? Any messages? Any messages? <laughs> okay. So it looks like you guys are working towards something like a goal or there's this thing that you want to come into your life and you're waiting for it. <clears throat> You could be praying or you could just be trying to set plans and goals at this time just to have your manifestations come in. But it looks like your your manifestations are currently manifesting, okay? So you could be going through some sort of change at this time. Yeah, especially with your occupation. Some of you could be changing jobs or you could be, um, I'm hearing you could be changing careers as well as changing you could be changing doctors or changing um what is it changing hmm i don't know it just went out my head taurus but you could be changing like school something could be going on okay let's see let's go ahead and dive in and see what you need to know for some of you, you could be moving or trying to save up some money so you can move. And I'm getting you may receive some sort of support financially. There may be some money that comes your way unexpectedly, okay? Like a grant or a loan. Let's see. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? Yeah, you're making a lot of big changes. For some of you, you're making big changes when it comes to love. You're deciding to invest in yourself and spend the time loving yourself, okay? I'm getting somebody that treats themselves and is focused on taking care of themselves at this time. What else for my high vibrational Taurus? Okay, so you could have somebody in your energy. Um, for some of you, this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or... Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? Somebody could be trying to make a big change so they can come in and offer you some sort of commitment. It looks like you're about to go through some sort of tests when it comes to love, okay? This person could be coming around to <clears throat> offer you love. They might see you as the main choice at this time and somebody feels like they can't move on without you, okay? Yeah, you are currently in this King of Pentacles energy. You are stable. You're secure. You are able to um, support yourself. You're very independent. You're very wealthy. And I'm also seeing you're in your North Node, Taurus. Like you're somebody that is currently, like the, the wheel has turned in your favor, okay? You have good karma coming into your life. For some of you with this under the lovers like this and the Two of Cups, you can have a soulmate coming in, Okay. Yeah, Spirit is saying you learned some sort of lesson when it came to someone from your past or a situation. And now there's a reward coming in because you've done a lot of work. Okay, somebody in your past, they could be in regret over you though. Somebody could feel like they've missed out on an opportunity with you. All right. Yeah, somebody's getting justice. It looks like you're getting justice because you decided to heal and invest in yourself and now you're sitting as this queen of pentacles energy where you are abundant you're very abundant and also i have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles you have a counterpart in your energy okay i'm getting divine masculine and divine feminine energy now this person could have uh capricorn virgo taurus in their chart as well but it looks like someone from your past missed an opportunity with you 
and now spirit is sending you justice for this opportunity and you're getting someone sent to you a counterpart now this is going to be somebody that works just as hard as you work somebody that is building something for themselves somebody that <clears throat> Somebody that is prosperous or works hard for their prosperity, all right? For some of you with the Page of Pentacles, you could be receiving some sort of good news about money. There's something about money coming your way. It's going to be, I'm getting, I don't know why I'm getting like, you may be getting like a grant or a loan. Something's going to be approved, okay? For some of you, it could be for a home. Like if you're moving, you could be getting a new home. Let's see. Yeah, your manifestations, whatever you're praying for is coming. Okay? You've put in a lot of work. You've changed. And now wherever you're going, you're taking fast action. Some of you could be, um, or there could be a king of cups in your energy, a father figure that could be going through a divorce. Somebody may have not wanted to change. Yeah, there's a father figure that um, that needs to heal, okay? That needs divine guidance. This person is a spiritual teacher, but they're currently functioning in a low vibration is what I'm seeing. Yeah, you guys are definitely balancing your... Uh, you're working on your independence right now. You're focused on yourself. I see a lot of self-love energy coming out. A lot of self-love energy. Some of you may need money when it comes to, with the Page of Swords, you may need money when it comes to school or you may be looking for some options to go back to school or something with the Page of Swords. You could be researching or gaining information. But I'm seeing that there's a lot of prosperity coming your way. There's a lot of happiness and joy going to come from that because it does look like you're going to get some sort of money or help with your finances, Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and break some of this down, Taurus, and see what else you need to know. Look at this investment, the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You are definitely about to take advantage of some opportunities when it comes to your finance, okay? There's going to be this solid beginning that comes in for you. And I'm seeing that you're going to, if you keep up and you keep being consistent at this time, you're going to have a bright future. So let's see, what is the Knight of Swords for Taurus Spirit? What is the Knight of Swords for Taurus? Let's see what this Knight is. Who is this Knight coming up in your energy? Air sign. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Okay. Mm. So somebody could be... Okay, so I'm seeing a father figure right now that is having money problems. Somebody could be facing jail time or could be um, stuck in their head about something, feeling like they can't move forward. Somebody could feel like a failure, like they could feel stuck. I'm seeing this person is trying to make a big change in their life. Somebody's trying to make some changes. What is this? Yeah, this person may need some sort of money or support. You may be a spiritual teacher or a leader for this person, Taurus, whoever this is in your energy, okay? I also believe that this is your energy because you are such a spiritual teacher. You may receive some sort of money or a gift from somebody in your community or some sort of employment opportunity, but there is shared wealth here in power, okay? You could be in a position of power. Yeah, I'm seeing there's going to be a lot of family gatherings, probably a long-term relationship coming into your life. Could be with the Pisces. Or you guys could just have a happy family at this time, okay? Or trying to reunite with someone. Somebody could be trying to reunite with you from your past, and they could be coming in with a love offer, but you could have your guard up with this person. Yeah, somebody's experiencing some bad karma at this time, okay? What's the lover's energy? All right. So you are getting justice when it comes to love, Taurus, okay? It looks like for some of you, you could be going to court too regarding a lover. But it looks like with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, you are getting new love. Some of you 
maybe getting like a new romance or you could be finding out that you're pregnant okay something that you are working towards or birthing or growing is going to manifest very beautifully but you are getting justice okay so there is a, a justice that's coming in for you especially when it comes to love when it comes to love you're about to get possibly a soulmate that comes into your life I'm getting Gemini Virgo energy here as well as Libra okay let's see why the why the eight of wands in reverse for Taurus why the eight of wands yeah there could have been a Pisces um, somebody that was a trickster this person like to create illusions and be deceptive this person is stuck they're stuck on you they're stuck in the past they're stuck in bad habits this person is stuck they're watching you be successful and have stability and security in your life and this person is burdened okay they they're burdened down with all the things they have going on okay this is leo aries sagittarius energy yeah you guys are sitting stable you're secure you're financially secure i could be talking to a masculine or a feminine but i'm getting masculine energy here with the king of pentacles but you could be embodying this king of pentacles my feminine energies you could just be focused on money you could just be focused on bettering yourself at this time loving yourself pouring into yourself and just making sure that you're good okay that could be your focus at this time i'm also seeing that like i said with this wheel of fortune card with this wheel of fortune card you could be postponing something that needs to be done that's going to bring in a lot of stability and security into your life. You could be indecisive about something. Yeah, you could be confused. I'm getting a confused. You could be confused about something you're manifesting. What is this? I'm getting a different energy read out here for you. What is what is what is Taurus? What's going on? Yeah, you may need to spend some time self-reflecting at this time, okay? And kind of just working on your stability and your security. There could be somebody in your energy in the nine of pinnacles in reverse. Somebody could have Virgo in their chart. I'm getting strong Virgo energy. This person wants to come in very passionately and take action towards you. But somebody is, they they consume recklessly. They they're very superficial they only care about keeping up with the joneses they care about how they dress this person does not love themselves okay somebody needs to spend some time healing but i'm seeing that you are going towards your passions and now spirit is giving you the wheel in your favor all right so what's the wheel can i get one more with the wheel of fortune Yeah, you're avoiding some sort of loss, uh, Scorpio energy, and you're you're going in with this wheel of fortune. You're going in towards a lot of prosperity, a lot of success, a lot of abundance. I could be talking to somebody that likes to read or is a writer. Okay. Yeah, you're awakening to some sort of truth. Okay, and there's somebody in your energy from your past that really wants your forgiveness. This person is having money problems, okay? They made a lot of poor financial decisions in their life. Somebody could be awakening to something and feel like they've missed an opportunity with you, okay? This person goes to sleep with a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, okay? Somebody is mentally overloaded. This person needs to express themselves or just empty out their stress, okay? But they're noticing that you've walked away from them. Somebody notices that you've changed and you've kind of, you're not talking to them as much or you're not talking to this person. Yeah, somebody's in pain over you. This could be a baby mama figure, a queen of cups, uh, um, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, doesn't have to be, or a mother figure. Yeah, okay. And for some of you, this is, if this is not you, this is somebody in your energy, okay? Could be an Aquarius. This could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Scorpio energy out here. So let me see. What else? What else? 
um, for the judgment card spirit. What else for judgment? What is judgment doing out here? Okay, somebody that did hurt you though, somebody is receiving bad karma and their finances are being affected. Yeah, this could be somebody that gossiped about you, spread malicious lies about you. This person is in heavy regret, okay? They are aware that they've missed an opportunity uh, with you because they did this, because they decided to treat you this way, okay? And they are in regret over it. All right, what's justice? All my cards falling. Yeah, somebody's justice is for, because this person was stubborn, their justice is for you to have your guard up, okay? This person refused to compromise. They were stubborn, but you walked away and now you got your guard up towards this person. And you're also in this Queen of Wands energy where you're going towards your passions. You have a lot of potential at this time and people look up to you. You are a leader. Like people actually look up to you. Yeah, this person could have betrayed you or spoke ill of you or something and now somebody is definitely going through the ten of swords okay for some of you for some of you with the page of cups out here um this could be somebody that acts like a child somebody could be childish but you could have trust your intuition and you could be developing some sort of psychic gifts yeah you could be awakening to some gifts that you have okay Somebody could be definitely wanting to come and apologize, but this person sees that you've moved on, okay? That your life is improving. Yeah, and now that it is, you're getting some sort of donation. There's money coming in. There's some wealth or position of power coming in for you, okay? Some of you may get a promotion. With the devil in reverse, you free yourself from toxic energy, toxic people. Okay, choosing not to reconcile with these people was really good for you. But somebody in your past, this person that overindulges, this person is stuck. Okay, this person is very stagnant at this time because they're stuck in codependency issues. Somebody's very materialistic or they keep secrets. Yeah, somebody is attached to someone that's toxic. All right, so let's see what else we have for you. With the sun, I, like I said, there's prosperity. Prosperity out here. Let me get one for the sun, actually. Why the sun at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, you're moving forward from, like, any chaos, any type of bad luck that you could have had to deal with in your past. You're moving forward. Okay, you're letting go of a lot of things emotionally, and you're moving forward. You've made this big spiritual transformation and now you're getting a new beginning, okay? A lot of prosperity and a lot of happiness coming your way, okay? Yeah, there could be a mother figure that is very insecure at this time. Somebody that you could have a bad past experience with. Or this, for my masculines, it could be somebody, um, I'm getting Taurus energy. Somebody that could have been low vibrational, could have went back to someone from their uh, past. Someone that they had a toxic connection with. They could have had a daughter with. And now this person is with a drunk. Somebody that drinks all the time. Let me see. I don't know why the message came out like that. Okay, what is this manifestation card spirit? Yeah, your manifestations are coming true, okay? Whatever you're manifesting with your money or your stability and security, it's coming. It's a yes, I'm hearing. There's somebody from your past, though. I'm getting baby mama figure with the empress in reverse. Somebody that you feel like you can't grow with. This person is trying to come back around. Okay, this person wanted you to chase them. They could be manifesting you back at this time. But you've disconnected, okay? You follow your intuition when it came to someone. Maybe you thought somebody wouldn't change with the change in reverse. I don't know, Taurus. You're going to have to, like I said, you're going to have to place yourself where you see fit. For some of you, this message may not even res uh, resonate at all. Okay, so we have distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. So you could be distant from somebody or emotionally distant. 
this point or somebody in your energy feels this way let's see what else does Taurus need to know spirit what else so we have yes in reverse so something is a no okay yeah with a fire sign an Aries Leo Sagittarius okay somebody could still be figuring themselves out sexually Ooh, there could be a narcissist energy involved or a gold digger energy somebody that is really um wants money from you they could be spying on you all right or you could have fire in your chart okay aries leo sagittarius please take it how it resonates could be pregnant at this time. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Somebody could be having one. Let me see. Somebody could be having a daughter. Or a son. Okay. So service. I feel good when I help others. So you feel good when you help other people, Taurus. You are um, an earth angel, somebody that's here to help others. Okay, you may have had to help somebody. There may have been uh, a lesson that you had to teach someone. And you could have been facing judgment, but Spirit is saying to show gratitude because you are now connected to the cosmic flower, okay? You are now seeing and remembering how important and magnificent you are. Okay, so this was meant to teach you a lesson. You've learned some sort of lesson. Yeah, Spirit is telling you to work on your self-esteem when it comes to something, okay? You do possess gifts that benefit yourself and others. Okay, there's something that you're waiting on. The manifestation of Spirit is saying to be patient, okay? It says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. So you're being asked to be um, patient. Yeah, continue to work on your health because your physical vessel enshrines your soul. Yeah, Spirit wants you to know that you are never alone if you do feel lonely, okay? You need to laugh a little bit more and, and bring humor in your life, okay? And you guys could be divine masculine. I could be talking to a masculine, but if not, you're a feminine embodying this divine masculine energy or you could be releasing guilt over a divine masculine okay and now you're allowing a soulmate to come into your life so keep it up i love the energy as always with you guys reading all right somebody could be hesitating about something or you could be hesitating about making a decision when it comes to a connection or a friendship let's see I'm not sure if this is your energy or the person in your energy. Let's see. Oh, car fell right out. All right, so we have somebody that is definitely depressed. Somebody that is paranoid about something. Getting some sort of karma. Yeah, somebody's getting karma. They could be paranoid. Oh, somebody could be paranoid about a disease at this time. They could be praying. Yeah, this is somebody they could have had a family with. Or um, this could be somebody in your family feeling this way, okay? Somebody could have been under some sort of illusion about something. Yeah, and this person could have been wearing a mask, okay? Somebody was being deceptive and wearing a mask. This is somebody that could have bribed your person or tempted your person in the past or tried to tempt you in the past. Okay, but you persevered. You overcame a challenge. Your prayers were answered, I'm hearing. Spirit heard you. Yeah, this person was very disturbed. Somebody was just disturbed, okay? When you offered pure, unconditional love to this person. Now somebody's being nostalgic and they're they're facing instability in their life, okay? Remember, I told you whoever this is is in a nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody does not love themselves. 
Okay, this person wants you back. But they're stuck. They can't move forward, okay? Somebody does want you to compromise with them, but I'm seeing what compromise and reverse. You're not compromising with someone, okay? You've moved forward from this loss. You've accepted this loss already. You've avoided this curse, okay? Now somebody's trying to get your attention about something. But you're not stupid. You're not blind. Yeah, Spirit is giving you a gift, okay? You're getting some sort of gift. And this person didn't plan for you to be getting this gift. But because this person wouldn't change, Spirit is giving you something else, okay? You're about to profit in a different way, I'm hearing. There's something better coming into your life, okay? Some of you, it is going to be a new connection. For some of you, it's going to be new opportunities when it comes to money. Um, you know, just, just a bunch of different stuff. But when I was shuffling this deck earlier, I saw prosperity lies ahead for Taurus. So guess what? Prosperity lies ahead. You are about to get some sort of support. Okay, somebody you're going to be able to celebrate with. Or you're going to be celebrating. Spirit wants you to process your feelings at this time. What else for Tara Spirit? Ooh, jeez, the whole deck came out. You guys must have a good message in these cards because everything came out. Hang on, Taurus. Let me pause this. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pull these cards. Okay, so what else does Tara need to know? Look at this. Okay, Spirit is saying to take the lead and hold your vision at this time, okay? Yeah, communication may be the key when it comes to something. Spirit is saying don't let your pride get in the way. I'm getting Leo and Gemini energy out here, okay? Maybe some of you need to seek healing. Maybe you need to bring love into a situation as well as it's time to take action towards something, okay? I also have Aries and Aquarius showing up. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. But Spirit wants you to keep going, okay? With Capricorn out here. Something is going to come out of this situation, though. It looks like something is going to come. Let's see if I can get one individual card. Because for some reason... Okay, so two came out. So Spirit is saying for you to take a risk right now, okay? And then we have boundaries in reverse. So you may need to take some sort of risk. You may need to put up your boundaries when it comes to something. With some of you, um, Spirit is encouraging you to take this risk. Whatever you need to take it and go towards, it's going to be for your better good, okay? Okay, so it says, do you have the courage to spin the wheel of life and see what comes up? So you did get the wheel of fortune in your reading. So it's up to you. Are you going to spin? Are you going to take this risk and spin the wheel to see what you get? Okay, no one is saying you should take a massive risk and gamble everything away. But nor should you refuse to make your move. It could be time for you to adopt a more positive mental attitude and see your glass as half full. A regular gratitude practice will help. Okay. So Spirit is saying try, and do, try doing your practice with friends or family for a few weeks. Or if not, just do it with yourself. Okay. There is an adventure that is calling you somehow. And this card has come up because your higher self wants you to look further into it. You're playing small does not serve the world. So you're, you could be playing small right now. Some of you could work in the justice system. With justice out here, Libra energy, it's time for you to take a risk and show the world who you really are and how you really feel. If your self-esteem is hampering you, this card is a sign to work on it for real. The wheel is still spinning when you get this card. Take a chance, okay? So some of you need to take that trip that you want to take, okay? Okay. Maybe you need to work on being more optimistic or maybe you need to love yourself more. But life is short and spirit wants you to make the most of it, okay? You need to believe in yourself a little bit more as well. So the seeds of a moon flower are actually uh, hallucinogenic. These flowers bloom in the evening and have an enticing fragrance. So this card is leading you towards more adventures, okay? You see the wheel out here? So with the devil wheel out here, spirit is saying... Um, what chances do you need to take in your life? Because you never know what it, where it's going to lead you. There are some chances that you need to um, take. Okay, it could lead you somewhere really good. But anyway, let's see what else. We have boundaries. So 
It's time to take a full and honest inventory of your behavior in the recent past. Have you been going too far? Have you been acting out? Have you been allowing your emotions to get the better of you? If you know that you've been misbehaving emotionally, it's time to rein things in. Okay, drop some boundaries. As much as you might want to get your own way in the current situation, you also need to take other people into consideration. If someone has been overstepping, overstepping the boundaries with you, it's time for you to let them know gently but firmly. There is magic in the air when this card appears, okay? But you mustn't let your emotions overwhelm you. You could be you could be about to perceive what feels like a miracle, but you need to behave in a way that is supportive of everybody involved. Spending time alone in meditation now will really help you understand what your best move is next. So when your emotions do spiral, Taurus, you can often chase away what you're trying to attract so you're manifesting something and that's upright and boundaries are in reverse so i'm seeing with this in reverse your emotions can actually block these boundaries so spirit wants you to please control your emotions if you are trying to manifest something at this time okay you are a unique and magical being okay your emotions are running high and they may be running more high because we're going through a lot of the celestial trances that are going to be hard on people but spirit is asking you to avoid overreacting, okay? Draw a line under the past and use your intuition more. So in astrology, it's important to... So with the north and south node, you don't want to you don't want to go backwards. You want to go forwards. Because if you're going forward towards your north node, you're going towards more money, more love, more stability, more good karma. If you're going backwards, you see this devil energy at the bottom? You're going to be going towards more chaos, more bad luck, okay? Less money, unemployment, things like that, okay? Some of you could even be starting a business. But, yeah, Spirit wants you to know that your loved ones and you are safe at this time, okay? Cancer energy. But, yeah, you guys are definitely safe. Um, Spirit wants you to keep focusing on you. Keep loving yourself. Whatever you're manifesting is coming, just continue to make the necessary changes so you can um, receive this good justice, this good karma, okay? Alrighty, Taurus, I will talk to you later. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.